The Hawk aircraft used by Britain's Red Arrows can only fly 600 miles on one fuel tank. So they had to make 22 stops in places like India and Singapore just to get to the Juhai Air Show. Aircraft manufacturers are also willing to do whatever it takes to get into China. The reason why we came to the, the Juhai Air Show is quite simply because China is our biggest market in terms of airplane deliveries and future orders um, for the next 20 years. Airbus and Boeing are here to sell their planes to the fast-growing Chinese airlines. Analysts predict that China will spend a trillion dollars over the next 20 years buying new passenger jets like this Airbus A350 behind me. The middle class population today is 350 million people. That is the equivalent of the total US population. Those are people who have disposable income, who are willing to travel because they want to go explore the world, visit friends, relatives, family, and they fly. Like many things in China, aviation is ultimately controlled by the government, so politics is key. It's not just about flying tourists around. It's about developing an aerospace industry that can support Xi Jinping's military ambitions. To ensure access to the honeypot, Boeing and Airbus have partnered with Chinese companies to assemble their planes here. But these Chinese companies, Avic and Comac, eventually hope to beat Airbus and Boeing at their own game. Earlier this year, Comac launched China's first modern passenger jet, and it's working on a bigger model to rival the dominance of the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. Yes, there is competition coming, but by the time they get a real family proven and established, I think we still have good days ahead of us. Now, the Chinese have lots of money, but in aviation, if you throw lots of money at something, it doesn't mean it's going to work. Other companies have tried to break the Boeing Airbus duopoly, but they've struggled to get to takeoff point. Well, it, is, it is a big challenge. It's, it's many, many years, and uh, all manufacturers uh, are, are finding those developments to be, to be particularly challenging, and, and for sure we've, we've had our own set of issues, but what we have today, um, in part thanks to the, the delay we had in the program, is we have a very mature product at entry into service. Dogged by delays and budget overruns, Comac's success isn't guaranteed, even though state-owned airlines have placed orders for hundreds of its planes. With the aviation market growing so rapidly, Beijing wants a larger slice of the pie, but it also wants the ingredients the recipe. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Juhai.